so we are done with the theory so now we are in the spectrum and we will discuss how to read an ir spectrum uh, here you will learn how to go about uh, an ir spectrum what aspects you should study more and what you should you you can ignore so ir spectroscopy generally you might have seen in the texts or in the literature mm -hmm. uh, it's sometimes known as the function group spectroscopy and that is because of the fact that mm -hmm. uh, it gives you an idea about the presence or absence of a particular function group in the molecule so major function groups say you can have a carbon oxygen single bond that is a function group of course in ethers uh, you may you might have a carbon oxygen double bond you might have a carbon carbon double bond that is in alkenes or aromatic molecules carbon carbon triple bond in alkynes oh single bond in uh, alcohols or phenols you might have an nh bond in uh, amines or amides or you you might have a c and triple bond or c and double bond as well in case of uh, nitriles and amines so these are some of the major functional groups or the normal types of bonds that you see in molecules the first thing when you have a, an ir spectrum in your hand and uh, you see right through it the first thing that you see is a sharp intense signal right in the center and if you have this sharp intense signal right in the center of the spectrum that is for the carbonyl function group the vibration frequency for this carbonyl function group uh, is centered around uh, 1660 to 1820. Uh, it means that it, it may uh, be around 1660 lowest or it may go up to 1800. So, you know that carbonyl functional groups, they are of different types. You can have aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, acid halides, anhydrides, amides. So, that is why you see this uh, wide range from 1660 to 1820. So, if you see a peak right in the center, sharp intense peak uh, in this region, it is a carbonyl. But what type of carbonyl it is? If it is a carboxylic acid, if this peak belongs to the carboxylic acid, so you know that a carboxylic acid has a carbon oxygen double bond of course and that is the carbonyl and it also has an oh group so you have this carbon oxygen double bond and you have an oh attached directly to the carbon and carbon now uh, as i told you that these are some of the major or important types of bonds present in the molecule the diagnostic peaks for a carboxylic acid function group uh, in IR spectrum would be carbonyl stretch, a carbon oxygen double bond stretch, and along with it, you would also see an OH single bond stretch. Right? So if you think or if you assume that it's a carboxylic acid, so what how you can confirm it, first you have to go and look for the OH stretching vibration that will start from 2400 per centimeter and it will end up at 3400 per centimeter and you will see it in the form of a very broad peak like this so it starts from 2400 per centimeter and it ends up around somewhere around 3400 per centimeter so if you see this broad stretch or band for the oh it might belong to the carboxylic acid and then you have to go and look into the carbonyl region. And if you see a peak centered around 1700 to 1730, so then it is confirmed key carboxylic acid. But along with this, you can see here, this one, this is a carbon oxygen single bond as well. And this carbon oxygen single bond would most probably appear around 1200 to 1300 per centimeter. But the diagnostic peaks are two, that is the carbonyl and the OH. OH is more prominent because it's a very broad, peculiar peak uh, uh, for the OH stretching in carboxylic acid. Uh, as I told you here, that OH can be found in alcohols and phenols as well. Uh, but in alcohols, this OH stretch or this band is not this much broad. Uh, it will not start from 2400. Now here is an example and this spectra has been taken from your book. So here we have a carboxylic acid functionality here you can see and it is attached to an alkyl group, an isopropyl group. And as I told you earlier that when you have this spectrum in your hand uh, you will see right in the center 
here a very sharp intense peak and you can see this peak here and this is for the carbonyl stretch and you see some shoulders here that might be other peaks merged with it or overlapping with it that is why it has these shoulders but uh, normally it's a very sharp uh, peculiar peak and it appears somewhere around 1700 per centimeter you can see it here this is 1600 and this is 1800 so it's right in the center so it's somewhere around 1700 per centimeter and see it falls in this range and uh, so it belongs to the carboxylic acid uh, carbonyl and then we have this broad peak as i was talking about it earlier uh, you can see here this is 2400 per centimeter so it starts somewhere around 2400 per centimeter from here and then it goes down and then it goes up it ends up here and you can see it's somewhere around uh, 3400 per centimeter so that is why we say that it's a very broad peak that starts from 2400 per centimeter and ends up at 3400 per centimeter but you see some uh, uh, sharp fine structure here and that is the that is for other peaks in fact it has some overlapping here that might be from these ch bonds here so we have ch uh, stretching as well and that is uh, the sp3 ch stretch and if you remember the sp3 ch stretch of the head that appears around 2900 per centimeter the sp2 ch appears around 3000 per centimeter or agar sp stretch ho to 3100 per centimeter and then you have this carbon oxygen single bond stretch uh, around about 1210 per centimeter here that is for the co single bond stretch let's see another example ab isme aap dekhe to uh, the carboxylic acid function because we are talking about carboxylic acid function group it is attached to benzene ring aap dekhe to pichle ye jo aapko spectrum nazar aa raha hai इसमें शेप्स देखें पीक्स की और इसमें शेप्स देखें तो अगेन इसमें वही शार्प इंटेंस पीक है जो कि कार्बोनिल की रेंज में है और कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड के कार्बोनिल की रेंज में है ठीक है और मजे की बात यह है कि इस केस में ये जो कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड है ये कॉन्जुगेटेड भी है ठीक है यू कैन सी इट इज कॉन्जुगेटेड विद दिस एरोमेटिक रिंग तो इसकी जो वाइब्रेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी है वो थोड़ी सी कम होगी पिछले वाले से क्योंकि कॉन्जुगेशन जो है वो जो वाइब्रेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी है उसको कम कर देता है दूसरे डायग्नोस्टिक पीक क्या है ओ एच की पीक है तो ओ एच की पीक अगर आप देखें तो यहां से तकरीबन स्टार्ट हो रही है यहां से और तकरीबन यहां पर ये यहां पर एंड हो रही है तो वही ब्रॉड पीक है तकरीबन ट्वेंटी से स्टार्ट होके थर्टी पे एंड हो रही है लेकिन इसकी शेप देखें तो ये आपको वो ब्रॉड पीक टाइप स्ट्रक्चर नजर नहीं आ रहा जो हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि इस तरह की पीक होगी वो इसलिए कि इसमें बहुत सारी ओवरलैपिंग्स हैं तो आपको इस चीज का भी ख्याल रखना है कि जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको ये जो शेप है इस तरह की शेप नजर आएगी हर दफा आपको मुख्तलिफ शेप्स नजर आ सकती है ठीक है सो यू हैव टू बी विजिलेंट इन आइडेंटिफाइंग द प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ पीक इसमें चूंकि आपके पास एस पी कार्बन्स हैं सॉरी बॉन्ड्स हैं ये वाले तो sp2ch तकरीबन 30 3000 पर सेंटीमीटर अगर आप यहां पर देखें तो आपको नजर आ रहे हैं ठीक है तकरीबन 3000 के आसपास आपको sp2ch स्ट्रेच नजर आ रहा है बहुत स्ट्रांग है और इतने स्ट्रांग है कि जो oh है उसको बिल्कुल पीछे छुपाया हुआ है इसने तो इसलिए ये आपको क्लियर एक ब्रॉडबैंड नजर नहीं आ रहा और दो इट्स इज अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड oh फिर इसके साथ चूंकि एरोमेटिक रिंग है तो एरोमेटिक कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड या सी uh, तो मैंने आपको बता दिया वो भी यहाँ आपको नजर आ रहा है बट बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फंक्शन ग्रुप हेयर सो इस डिस्कशन को हम बात के लिए छोड़ देते हैं ये एरोमेटिक कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड स्ट्रेच के लिए ये बात के लिए छोड़ दें फिलहाल हम कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फंक्शन ग्रुप जो है उस पर फोकस करते हैं एंड देन अगेन वी हैव दिस आउट ऑफ प्लेन ओ एच पेंडिंग वाइब्रेशन हेयर सो दैट कन्फर्म्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फंक्शन ग्रुप इन दिस पेजोइक एसिड molecule